Do you want to learn more about the real Belize and listen to locals and expat stories that are actually living here in Belize? Well, you're in the right place right now. You're listening to Belize Talk Radio, and I'm your host, Macarena Rose. Well, happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome to Belize Talk Radio. And what are we talking about today? Well, everything to do with Belize. And so where are we? We are in Belize City, and we are at the Inspiration Center. And why are we here? Well, because I am passionate about this cause. This is a home that is being built, a center, for children with disabilities to be able to have the local community engage with children with disabilities so that everyone realizes that we are absolutely always more similar than different. This is the program that is part of the Special Envoy, which is Kim Simpasero Foundation. A fabulous reason for you to know more about this, and we're going to have you look around with us today. And soon we're going to hear from the Prime Minister's wife. You can see here that this whole center is absolutely, it's under construction obviously, but wow, what a job they're doing. They're working very hard and diligently. We have a telethon that is going to be here very soon. We're going to give you the breaking news on that here shortly when we hear from the Prime Minister's wife. And she'll share more about that, but what an incredible project this is. This is a wow project. And look, you can see all around, for those people that are listening live today and don't have the video to go along with this, you can see that the construction is probably more than 50% done, quite frankly. And so they're doing the finishing touches now. And we'll get the update from Miss Barrow here and here very shortly, actually. And so we're gonna go and take some more look inside there. So follow me in, okay? And why did we decide to bring you here and actually do the first part of the show here? Well, it's nice to see things. You know, you get to hear about them. And I get to share with you, by speaking, I get to share with you that this is actually a great project. And, you know, many things are just thoughts, but they're not followed through. Not with Kim Simplis Barrow and the Special Envoy. This is actually happening here. And to know how you can help us, well, that's a really good thing. We're going to tell you more about that later, so how you can reach them. But look at this center. You can see there's many different rooms here. There's a lot of education rooms here. And they're going to have different classes and learning opportunities here for different children. And of course, this is all being done with handicapped intentional access, very important. And it's huge. And you can see how high it is. It's a very big, big building. Or you can hear from me explain it to you. We're walking across some planks here, so bear with us. Okay, so on a second thought, I wanted to share with you that we are upstairs at the Inspiration Center and they're laying blocks here and there's a lot of work going on here. Can you hear it? <laughs> and now, if you look, we're going to have you pan around here and you can see that they're actually laying the outside walls of the upstairs. And you hear lots of work going on. They're very busily working. And I thought it was amazing for you to see that this, you, the square footage of this is amazing. And the opportunity that they have that they're going to help so many children here is just phenomenal. It's very exciting. So now, let's go meet the First Lady. All right, everybody. Just as promised, I said that we were going to make a quick jog over to another part of Belize City and get to sit with the Prime Minister's wife, who is Kim Simplis Barrow, um, who absolutely is as lovely in person, by the way, as she is in spirit. But it is also, quite frankly, it's someone's works. It's what they do with their life because our lives matter um, that really make a difference. And so what she's been doing is you saw the center um, whether I was talking to you and you heard it on the radio or you got to also see the video portion of it is that this inspiration center is her brainchild and it's amazing so thank you for joining our show today you're welcome I'm happy to be here and we're happy to have you and you know we've had um, as a little aside we've had you know in our 30 plus years of independence different first ladies you're the one that touches my heart in so many ways because you really are out there constantly giving your time, energy, and everything you have to programs that matter. And uh, it, that matters. And so, um, so tell us, the Inspiration Center, in our last interview, you got to tell us a little bit about it. And of course we were covering about the book. But the Inspiration Center is close to being done. 
Um, well, we're hoping to finish it up this year, the end of this year. We're hoping that we'll be able to um, have a grand opening um, and have these children start accessing the therapies that they need. And actually, um, I want to be there for that because it's impressive. Sure. To, to have been there in person and to see the building and to see all, I mean, there was lots of people working hard, by the way. You weren't good. there and they're yeah. still working really hard. <laughs> and you got to remember, they have no idea who I am. I know. Who's this woman? That's good. That's good. And we didn't tell them that you guys were going to show up. Smart. So that's good. <laughs> they, well, they were all working. Nobody was sitting around. Good, good, good. But the, the interesting thing was there's so many different rooms and I had no idea how large it was. This is a huge undertaking by you. It's, it's, a, it's a huge project, but it's, it's uh, more than a huge project. It's a much needed project. And, 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 it's, um, and it's very important that we, we understand the magnitude of this and how, how much it will affect the lives of our beautiful children here in Belize who need the therapies and, and they can't get it. It's true. I've known children that didn't, you know, have access to getting wheelchairs, and you know, it's it's interesting because a lot of the church groups and a lot of different people will help. But when you have one place that is the resource, then people know where to go. Right, right. Um, it it certainly um, it's certainly a, a a place that we are hoping that um, it won't be a cure for all but it will certainly bridge that gap that we're seeing at the moment. Um, this, this has been a, a dream of mine for a number of years now, and, and, and every time I go there to see the construction and, and what's happening and what phase we're at, it, it, it's always, um, it always touches me because it's um, to, to see it become what it is it, it's always um, it's always so so very touching yeah <laughs> I can see that in your by the way <laughs> and, and it, it was it was actually very powerful to me to go there in person because it was touching to me going I know what that takes to start an idea and many people do talk about things but the follow-through is where you really see someone's spirit and what their intention really truly is and quite frankly, it's wow. And to see, I mean, there's a lot of different even rooms. I mean, I, the magnitude of it, it really struck me being there, mm -hmm. that what an undertaking this must have been for you to start this idea and in, in this mission and vision. And, uh, you know, actually, we're actually doing a video of this, you know, this recording of this radio show. And what's nice about that is that you can actually see the Inspiration Center, and we're going to take a, a short break here in a minute. When we come back, I want to talk about something big that's coming up okay. very soon, and but we'll do that, you know, in just a second. But w the reason I think that's important is people often wait for others to do things, and they say, "Oh, but it's getting done. Someone else is doing it," and really, it's the power of people all working together. Well, this uh, uh, this Inspiration Center, I, I must say, it's it's a people's Inspiration Center because um, when we held the first uh, telethon, the, 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 the amount of love that was poured into making this uh, telethon a reality, hence the Inspiration Center a reality, is, it was just overwhelming. We were able to raise a million dollars in one day. In fact, less than a day, in eight hours. In eight hours? And that, and that was, that wow. was, <laughs> it really, um, it really goes to show that we have good people here and this country is a very small country and, and our economy wasn't at its best last year. It's getting better. So it just goes to show that people really care about people yeah. and we're, you know, we're still, we still believe and that <laughs> is, that is, believe. that is very important. We still believe. Yeah, yeah, faith moves mountains. Yeah. And so, yeah, the believing part is, I, I, I do tell people that Belize is a small country with a huge heart. Mm -hmm. And that's proof positive, quite frankly, right. that uh, people stepped up to the plate for the telethon. Yes. And I know that, you know, that they could be able to help donate that. And I think it's powerful for people that know that did 
call in and did help with the telethon last year, that they know that it is amazing what has been done in a yeah. short period of time. Um, you know, as far as the building and the intention and everything. I mean, that doesn't happen overnight by any nope. means, does it? No. Nope. <laughs> it takes a lot of work, a lot of hard work, a lot of persistence, a lot of um, <clears throat> being there. I think that the people believing that this is something that is much needed in our community um, manifested itself. I mean, one of the things that I, I'm, I'm always very cognizant of is that Disability is the one minority group where any one of us at any given time can belong to. So oh, that is that is powerful when you really think about it. You can go out there right now and you can get in an accident mm -hmm. and become paralyzed. That's true, actually. That's but, true. You know, so it's 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 something that you know a lot of people don't really think about. Uh huh. That, that makes a lot of sense. You really, I I had never thought about that. I have compassion and you know understanding for that, and I've known many people that have disabilities, you know, physical and mental and different different kinds of disabilities. But I never had thought about it that at any time it could be our family members or ourselves with that disability. Listen, when we come back from break, I want to talk more about what you're going to be doing here shortly. We're going to take a short break. I'm your host, Macarena Rose, and you're listening to Belize Talk Radio live on the Overseas Radio. Welcome back, everybody, to Belize Talk Radio. And we're going to get deeper into this inspiration center. And, you know, I think I had talked to you before about the inspiration, you know, came from obviously a, a special place in your heart. Was there, was there people that were in your life or that you knew or did you see a need world, you know, worldwide and Belize-wide, of course, for this? You know, I, I, I got a chance to, to tour the country um, about four or five years ago and, and I went deep down in, in the villages and, and, and into the homes of people and I saw firsthand what, what was happening and, and, and disability was one of the issues that really struck me. Um, especially when it came to families um, that didn't have a strong um, economic background. And um, there were, of course, families who just um, kept moving on and they made sure that their children went to school and, and they provided for their children and that sort of thing. But then there were the other ones who were just left. Uh, neglected, abused, practically abandoned, and so it. Um, to me, there there was no reason for that. I mean, there there. It has to be. Um, for me personally, it 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 says a lot about a country, and a people, how we treat our children. Um, And so I wanted to ensure that these children get the best opportunity that they possibly can have at the start of their life. And therefore, if, if, if a child is born with a disability and they, they're born at the hospital, and the hospital will, would then make a referral to the center for the child to go and get therapy. So at the start of their life, they get a chance, a fighting chance, to incorporate themselves into society, into school, into the workplace. Wow. And, and, <laughs> and, 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 and really that's, that's, that's the vision that I see for, for all of these children. I had no idea that this Inspiration Center was going to help children from birth even. Wow. That's very, um, that's very powerful. It does give them a fighting chance, it does. and also the the knowledge that they are they are with other people that have had the same challenges, which is really what lets you know that you can move forward and you can grow through experiences when you see other people that have done that, yeah. and uh, that's powerful. Yeah, I I, I think a, a a special component of the Inspiration Center is also the fact that we will be offering um, after school classes the children in the area to come and either do ballet classes or music classes or computer classes, that sort of thing. And then it would give, our idea is to make it an inclusive center. 
Mm -hmm. um, it's not separating our children with disabilities from, from our other children. Um, that is a very important aspect and, and I, I'm a big advocate for inclusivity and, and, and getting our children in school, whether it's a regular school or, or not. But um, I think that's very important. Um, acceptance is a big part of um, the disability movement and, 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 and it's, it's hard enough for them who have a disability and now you know it, it's 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 something that we definitely want to promote uh, acceptance respect always at all level it's it's so pos it's so positive and passionate that you have this for this inspiration center and and i i, I keep getting drawn back that at any time this can be somebody that that's in our life you know whether it be ourselves or a family um, you know member and and i like the idea that you're putting the people together the children because children children learn from people around them period so if it's inclusivity as opposed to separation they right. realize that they're all the same we're all the same we're all one i always people. say that well, well I, I do say that we're we're more similar than we are different mm -hmm. i heard that a long time mm -hmm. ago someone very wise said that i didn't come <laughs> up with that <laughs> and it's so true and when we really you know we have that we have compassion so tell me there's a telethon coming up. I'm really excited. You kind of slipped that in when we were talking about My Body is Precious. The telethon's big, and I have all the numbers. We're going to make sure we share that with you. But so go ahead. What, yeah, what, the tell telethon us. Is, um, is on June 1st, and, um, and we're hoping to raise half a million dollars this year. Um, it goes directly to the Inspiration Center. It goes to equipping the Inspiration Center um, and uh, to ensure that we can start operation-wise <laughs> with the Center. Um, this telethon is an annual event. We started last year and we're going to continue. Um, thankfully, we've had the commitment of um, a number of the TV stations here locally in Belize and the radio stations and they're committed to doing this telethon with us mm -hmm. for the Inspiration Center. So it's um, it's something that we've, it's, it's, it's not reinventing the wheels. We've never done a telethon here in Belize. Um, it was the first of its kind last year and it was a complete success. Um, I'm very grateful and thankful that people saw the need and the, they responded so well. Um, so we're hoping that with the support of not just Belizeans, but yeah. um, people. people listening um, abroad will be able to help call in, make donations or, you know. How fun actually, because it's kind of, it's, it's to me a telethon is exciting because you start at a, a bottom number, which is zero. Yeah. <laughs> and you get to watch what happens during this powerful, it's eight hours, it's right? It's eight hours, yeah. Eight it hours, starts, short window, make the phone call, remember the time changes, because yeah. you know, we this is Blaze Talk Radio, we're all over the world. We have people at right. all different hours. And that to know that at the end of the eight hours, what you've been able to do by the compassion and the open hearts of other people, wanting to help children mm -hmm. of special mm -hmm. needs that's mm -hmm. big yeah it's 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 a huge thing it, it's also um the objectives the objective one of the objectives of, of doing this telethon is to create more awareness to create awareness that these people exist and we're no longer going to put them on the side or or, no. or, 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 or ignore them it's time to put them at the forefront and 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 care for them the way that they should have been cared for. for Amen. A while, so. And uh, and I know that this, you know Special Olympics. We actually way before I've even met you, they had the, we had the Special Olympics the autumn, and they John came in and they they were on the radio and wonderful wonderful, they were wonderful people to have on the radio that they talked about they needed volunteers and they needed that and people heard it and they came out they they rose their bar and helped them, and she says that the awareness is something by just getting it out there right. so. You know, it is important for people to talk about it. Awareness is important. It certainly is important, especially when it comes to um, 
children with disabilities. So with the, if there, a child is born with a disability and they're, they start at the center, does that mean that you'll, you'll help find whatever equipment or you know, stuff well, that what they need? Well, we'll what we'll do is, um, is we'll try to get the, the child will be referred to from a hospital because it's from birth to oh. 18 years old. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't stop, does it? No, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't, actually. And we actually have, um, there's a gentleman I knew that was oftentimes in front of Brody's, and he was fine until, you know, 18 and he got in an accident. So, you know, you really don't know. So, yeah, I want to definitely help your family members and everything else. We're going to take a short break, and I have a question for you when you come back, and then we'll finish up with you, because I know you're <laughs> a business. Welcome back, everybody. Please Talk Radio. And before break, I was like, all right, we're going to come back, and we're going to ask you more questions, and I, I just have tons of questions for you, don't I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're like, thanks a lot, right? <laughs> well, I think it's important, though, that people really know how passionate you really are about this. And again, many people talk about doing something. You've done it. And the passion for the children, I mean, is obviously something that touches your heart and that you're willing to see the Inspiration Center actually grow. I mean, it's got to be like your baby. Yeah. Uh -huh. It is. Because did you do it from ground? From oh. ground, yeah. Oh. From, from everything, everything, from the idea, what it is that we want to create, what kind of environment we want it to be, the design, working on the design, um, working on deciding which, which constructor, uh, it, it, everything, it's right there. You must have a great board. Um, we don't have a board. It's me and my other girl who work with me. McKeeva and Delaney? Uh, well, actually it was um, Kendra Griffith oh, first yeah. who worked, who was with me. She was my program coordinator. And so we both, I had shared with her what I wanted to do and, and we just started. Oh. We just started and we had the plans and we had the project proposal but we had no money. Oh my and, God. And so um, I remember um, one, one day I, I came back from, after I was in the States, after getting my chemotherapy treatment and I was in the bed, I was really frustrated because um, cancer had already taken up so much of my, of my time already and, and that year was supposed to be my fundraising year to get the monies to build the center. And I was there and I was like, well, we have to do something here. And so I called Kendra and I said, we're going to do a telethon. I said, we're going to have a meeting next week. Call the radio stations and have the managers come in and we're going to have a telethon. And, um, and initially I had said, well, we're going to try to raise uh, half a million dollars. And by the time I got to the meeting, I said, we want to raise a million dollars. <laughs> Kendra almost passed out on me in that room. But it was it was quite interesting though. But you know it it's 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 <laughs> believing, it's believing and it's 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 wanting to make things happen. And it's um it it, it has just been a journey really. It's it's been a it's been a it's been a wonderful journey. It's it nothing came easy. Um nothing came easy because even during the time when I was going through my my my, my treatments it it just I just had uh, I just wanted to do so much more at the time it just became even more evident for me that I I, I have to make a difference I have to do something and so when the telethon came around and we were able to raise the, the the monies that we raised, I was like, okay, this is this is great, this is wonderful. I mean, <laughs> that that people actually believed in 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 this project was was very very meaningful, and uh, we were able to work along with so many people to make this happen. It's really, even though it started out as my dream, it has now become the people's dream because they all have bought into it. The, the day of the telethon, when 
uh, those children. I, I remember there was this this one uh, boy who who came to Belize, who who came to the Bliss Center, and he brought his piggy bank, and he said he was going to he was saving monies, one cents and five cents. This was not a child who has money, just you know, regular child. He said he was saving to buy a tennis. But he was listening on the radio and he realized that he doesn't really need a tennis <laughs> because there are people who don't even have feet for to wear a tennis. Oh my lord. That was that was very that was very, very powerful. I mean, coming from a child who was so young to give up all his one cents and his five cents that he had been collecting for years. For his tennis. Yeah. For this one particular tennis that he wanted. You know, and there were so many stories, so many touching stories throughout the day of children, of people giving selflessly, who sacrifice something to give. And there's a lesson in all of that. There is a lesson. There is a there? lesson in all of that. And also that, you know, people bit by bit donated and shared what they had, like the child with the piggy bank. That would have made me cry. I mean, you know, I, <laughs> I'm very sensitive. But that would absolutely um, be a learning lesson for him to go, wow, I, I have feet. I'm blessed. That's interesting. That's exactly what happened to him. It's realizing your your worth and your power and that doesn't matter what you're going through there's someone who's going through something worse than you than what you're experiencing at the moment so it's 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 um like i said there's a lesson to be learned in in all of it in all of it i have to say i'm just blown away that that it was you and, and actually kendra you know that made this happen yeah, we've we've been yeah. <laughs> I mean, usually there's like a board yeah, and there's lots no. of people and and getting people to show up and do their board no. meeting and and do their everything they need to do. So no wonder you were like sometimes it's better to just we, get it we, done. <laughs> we, we we teamed up with with, with Care Belize, yeah. who um, who they've been doing a lot of outreach program to persons with disabilities and and Mr. Kowal has been very instrumental in in in, in also making making it happen. Um, but I mean, all in all, like I said, at the end of the day, I think this is this is something that the people of Belize can be proud of, and, and not only the people of Belize, but all those who contributed, because it really is is a, a project that we all chipped in to make possible. So yeah. it's something that I think that um, people have embraced and will continue to embrace. Amen. And it says a lot if you can. When you can do something for someone who can do absolutely nothing for you, that is, that is what it's about. That's so true. That's what it's about. That's true. Interesting. Yeah. And uh, you're doing a lot for those people. <laughs> and so are all the people that are coming to the table that are helping out with this. And, you know, it's exciting that our telethons just in, you know, a few days from now, actually, we're going to give that information. It's on June 1st. And um, I want to make sure that people know, because our listeners from Blaze Talk Radio are everywhere, <laughs> as we know, and um, I want to make sure that they have the information. Would you please share the website again, so that way they can find it? Because I know on the website there's a PayPal button. Mm -hmm. It's uh, www.specialenvoybz.com. Okay, so it's a special envoy, E N V O Y B Z dot com, and we'll have that actually on our website, or you can Google it obviously too in the Inspiration Center, and it will come up that way. And then I want to give you the toll free number because I want people to call. Yes. I'm going to call, I want people to call. I'll send an email out on June 1st, everybody. This is June 1st, it's the first day of June. Yes. Here, here, help, help. Um, the phone number is 011 501 227. 9474. And again, because you're all listening from everywhere else in the world, you know, there, of course we have Belizean listeners too, but everybody when you're dialing into Belize, it's 011 and our code, country code is 501 and it's 227 9474. 
So please give us a call on June 1st. Let's have some exciting fun with this. Yes. And, and, you know, one of my things that is interesting is I, I shared with you my aunties have a, a horse farm where they bring children in with disabilities to have the opportunity to ride horses mm -hmm. and everything. So this is something that I know that they're so passionate about. I'm passionate about, but I think it's fabulous that you're here doing this because you are the most amazing first lady <laughs> we've ever had, and you do truly care, and uh, that care is infectious. Well, you know, I um, I enjoy doing it, and I it's the children. I mean, people say children are our future, and in Belize, where the where our about 55% of our population is under the age of 22. Wow. It's even more... 55%. Or stronger. It's like the, our children are present and our future because it's, <laughs> it's, it's right there staring us. So we have, to, we have to take care of our children. We have to make sure that, that they, are, they are well treated and, 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 and given all the... the, the, the opportunities that, that they can possibly have so that they can become good leaders and great role models for <laughs> our future generations. That well, is. I think you're an amazing role model, quite frankly. Mm, thank thank you, you for that. Um, there's that saying that says, um, attitudes are contagious. Is yours worth catching? <laughs> yours is worth catching. Thank you. Fabulously thank you. worth catching. You're, you. you're definitely an inspiration. Thank you. So it's appropriate, it's Inspiration Center. I want to thank you for being on the show and taking your time. I know your you're schedule's welcome. busy. I know your passion is immense, which keeps your, your schedule busy. But uh, yeah. thank you. That's good. And let's I enjoy what I do. I, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> and they say if you enjoy what you do, well, then you never work. It doesn't mean you're not busy. Yeah. It doesn't mean you're it's not busy. <laughs> but true. you, that's true. But you, it's not work. It's not it's like, not oh, work. my gosh, I have to do it's this and this. Work. It's because it really matters. And that's what's frustrating when you can't get it all in because you want so much to do. So you do it all. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for being thank on the you. show. No, thank, thank you. Thank you thank for you everything for you do. having me. Absolutely. June 1st. Welcome back, everybody, to Belize Talk Radio. And what a wonderful segment that was that we got the honor of speaking with the First Lady. And, you know, she is an inspiration. So what an appropriate thing that she has started the Inspiration Center. So... You know, I had a lot of thought in this process because my Auntie Anna is a good judge of people. And I, I honestly am touched when she says, oh, you really should interview this person. So this person is actually who I'm here with today, and she's in charge of public relations for Belize Telecommunications. And of obviously Belize. And so anyhow, as Belize Talk Radio, we cover everything Belize. But the thing is, is that why was she so recommended to me by my auntie Yana because she's positive she goes out of her way to help other people learn to be positive and to think positive because truly what you think is what you are so you might as well think positive for God's sakes <laughs> so without further ado I'd like to welcome Dion to the show and your last name Miranda <laughs> Miranda okay and you know it is an honor to actually meet you and you know interestingly you know I hadn't met you in person which I had the honor today to be in Belize City to get to do, but through Auntie Yana, who thinks very, very highly of you, and uh, when she was president of Rotary, you came and spoke, and you you spoke apparently very impressed. I wish I'd been there, because <laughs> I, I, there was I, there was a student that even wasn't going to continue school, went to the scholarship program and continued school thanks to you. That's amazing. I mean, you know, a lot of times we do our work and we don't know the impact we have until 10, 15, 20 years later. And it's really good to know because um, half of the times we're trying to build our legacy and I keep telling everybody that I talk to, your legacy is what you're willing to have on your epitaph when you pass away. And many times it's things like beloved. It's just trite words that nobody has any anything good to say about you. So they make up anything that comes to their mind. But it's good to know that that the things that I'm looking for, I want to be known as inspirational, was actually something that came true. So thank you for validating what I've been trying to do all this time because, like I said, many times we do work and we never know. And so, and I'm impressed by what you're doing as well, exposing our country, getting us out there, and having people know that we're more valuable for more than just natural resources, right? That we have people with heart. <laughs> we, 
That's, oh, you just said it. It is, I always say that Belize is a very small country with a magnanimously hugely heart. Or, you know, our heart is huge. And uh, that's actually, you know, 11 years ago when I first came to the country, what drew me to it, to decide to move here. And uh, no regrets there, by the way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not any. Because I meet so many amazingly beautiful, wonderful people. The people that I'm drawn to are the people that are doing something that is positive and helping others. So, you know, that's how I got, that's how I ended up here with you in your office. <laughs> and, and, and that is why I think um, people like Gail and I are drawn to work for Belize Telemedia. Um, Belize Telemedia really puts its money where its mouth is. And it brings its work out with people like us who want to do good but doesn't have the money on our own to do it. And like last year, for instance, we spent over a million dollars in um, doing sports, education, culture. We've even gotten into health. Um, and many other sectors in de developing community development and spreading positive words and, and, and getting out the potential in people rather than only looking at what we have. Um, we really believe that if you change the way you look at things, the things you look at will change. And oh. so, yes. Oh, say that again. <laughs> that, was a, that was a winner. If you change the, th the way you look at things, mm -hmm. the things that you look at will change. So if you look at things thinking that it's going to be bad, it's not going to be great, and we're not going to make a difference, then you won't. But if you start looking at it in line with what you're going to be doing differently, then automatically it starts falling into place. And we've started to push the fact that visioning is important, strategy oh. is important, because we found out also for young people that the minute you put it down on paper, it comes to life. Look at what the um, First Lady did. She wanted the Inspiration Center. It was in her mind. And not until she put it down on paper, did the drawings, did the money start coming in, and did the partners start folding in. Nothing happens if you don't take it to the next level. A lot of us like to hope and dream, but hope and dreams don't develop anything. It's actually implementation. So that's what we're pushing towards. Amen. I can see why, uh, quite frankly, everybody was so impressed when they heard you speak. I am too. It's, it's a positive thing. I think BTL chose you well. <laughs> Thank you. They chose you well to be in this spot. So the, the children, we were at a, an event today, and you know BTL had their, their booth set up there. What was that all about today? It was beautiful. Well, interestingly enough, the Ministry of Education contacted us and asked us if we were interested in being a part of their entrepreneurship and finance-driven showcase. Um, every year, May 17th, Belize Telemedia Limited, we, um, we actually celebrate World Telecom and Information Systems Day. And this year, the theme is road safety and how does communications and ICTs work in developing road safety. We would have had our own booth on Friday, um, May 17th, which is the day we celebrate. And we've learned now throughout the years, trying to do things on your own doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Collaboration and partnership is where it, it is necessary. And it's not about how much publicity we get, but about the impact we have. And that's a change that we've had within our public relations department because in the past, we only wanted to be seen, but now we want to be felt. And so it's something completely different. Mm. So we partnered with them and we were able to touch the lives, I mean, of being there present with over 6,000 kids. And by doing that, instead of filtering our money to a huge showcase and a huge display, we filtered the money into prizes for these kids for exposing what they did. So we became a major sponsor of the event we showcased what we wanted to showcase in a smaller fashion, but we highlighted what was important. It's not the work that we do at BTL that's important. It's the fact that young people see that their dreams can be realized, that people care about them enough to highlight their successes. So many times we talk about what's going wrong, but we never talk about what's going right and what's amazing. And I think that today, when I saw those kids, you know, the little chef hats on the little kids. <laughs> they were adorable. You know, yes, and, and the creativity that you saw there. Entrepreneurism is something that was always something that other countries did. But now today, I saw that that was sparked in young children, knowing that you don't have to work for, for BTL. You don't have to work for any large corporation. You can actually develop your own business and let it grow. And that is what is going to spur Belize and, Belize's economy in the future. And in the long run, it's going to be who's going to be buying services from us. So that's true. That's something that we have to realize. We can't be short-sighted. We have to look at the long haul and what we're going to be doing for people rather than what they can do for us at the end of the day. 
That's so true. And my hat's, my, not my chef hat, <laughs> my hat's <laughs> off to you because what an incredible event. I, 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 to see the children and see, I saw them playing little plants they were having, they had teachers. It was very, very the well jewelry. done. I, the Ministry of Education amazed me. I mean, they were the ones who put it off. They just invited us to partner. And um, like I said, I mean, many times we, you always want the kudos for yourself, so you want to have these events for yourself. But by joining with them, you gain a whole lot more. We could have never had that amount of children out there for one of our events, but we then got the exposure, we had them there, we saw what they were able to do, and now it gives us ideas of how else we can support them in the future. It's brilliant. It's, it's just, it was absolutely, a, it was a cool event. I'm glad you went. I'm, really <laughs> I'm glad so you glad you went. did. So I want to talk to Gail because I know Gail helped with the telethon last yes. year, right? Come on over, dear. And uh, we're going we're gonna to put Gail on with us because she was one of the people that actually was part of the telethon, the first ever in Belize telethon, correct? Right. The first ever. Wow. And I was there all day. You were there. Oh, you're, you're going to count for it, right? She missed her family day, which I said BTL does for all of its all of the, the employees. But Gail gave that up to give back as well. I mean, so again, I have really wonderful people who are committed to Belize working within this department. Are you doing this year too? Um, I, yes, I am. I, I actually leave for vacation, but I'm back the day before, and I'm looking forward to being oh, there. Wonderful. Again. Well, I'm so thankful you are too. So, so what was the telephone like? Class, you're working it was an amazing experience. It was an experience that I can relive every day. Um, it was wonderful to hear the phones ringing off the hook, <laughs> to hear the operators <laughs> just talking back and forth with custom, with people calling in and making pledges. We even got one of the community Indian, the Indian community called in, and they were like, "We want to pledge twenty five thousand dollars, but we are coming there. We just wanted to call ahead and pledge it so that wow. you don't miss us, and we want to make sure you get it in, calculate it in." But they made it on time. They were there. Um, you would wow. go. We would go by the stage, and you'll see the children, five year old, eight year old, walking in with their little piggy banks, with their all their coins and their five cents and ten cents and bringing it in and that was that was wonderful that touched your heart the right? operators I'm, were I'm smiling touched. all day they were smiling all day they were and so did you get calls from all over the world and for different places yes yeah? we had we um, btl assist gave them the gave the teleton lines for locals to call international um pledgers to call and um we they even had a web-based pledge um form available we did credit card um, swiping, swiping right there. Oh, they can take everything, right? Everything, right? <laughs> I, I know that um, when we were talking to the First Lady, she made a uh, note to explain about a little boy that came up with his piggy bank, and he was saving for tennis. And instead of getting his tennis, he wanted to, he, he didn't realize how blessed he was, um, you know, that he had legs. You know, yeah. he had something to... They touched my heart when she shared that one too. Yeah. So I can imagine it would be amazing to work that. Um, but I know that the U.S. number, I, she gave that to me, so I know it's 011, they have to dial yes. to call us here. 501-227-9474 is the number they're gonna call and they're, they're gonna ask for Gail, and I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't ask for Gail because she's going to be really busy, right? Yeah. I'll, I'll be there, though. I'll be there. You'll be like, oh, that Macarena, why? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, what a great experience to be able to have that opportunity. And now it's our second ever telethon. Oh, yeah. She's amazing. She does. She's done amazing things. It's, it's actually a group of different women that I've seen, quite frankly, that are doing amazing things in this country that really are really passionate about it and want to lift, lift way up, which is... It's definitely, definitely. You, you, by doing that, you know, you give other people the permission to be who they are and to raise their bar to Definitely. be who they are were intended to be. So I say kudos to you both. <laughs> and uh, I'll be looking for you on the phone, you know, I'll make sure everybody asks for you. <laughs> Oops, just kidding. No, but all, all jokes aside, the Inspiration Center is fabulous. You know, I really believe that we should call in for this telethon and, you know, a little bit here and a little bit there really helps a lot of it for these children that need to have a handout and and not a handout as a, a helping hand. a helping hand up because you know if you can't afford a, ch a wheelchair for your child and they need one it, it's something that we we all need to help as a community as a society and as a world you're listening to Blaze Talk Radio it's honor as always to be your host I'm Macarena Rose thank you for being on the show today ladies Thank you for having us. Thank you. And you're listening to the Overseas Radio Network.
Thank you.